What is up, you guys? It is Ryan with the Idaho Crypto Group back again with another cryptocurrency video. And today I'm gonna to be going over five tips to becoming a successful day trader. Now, don't get me wrong, there are a lot of better traders out there. There are more experienced and, and they've been trading for a longer time than me, but I have learned from my mistakes. I have gone through quite the learning process and I've developed this list to help you guys, if, whether you're new or experienced, help eliminate some of your mistakes. These are fairly basic, but the, these are some of the biggest lessons that I learned as a growing trader. So I've been trading, I started in stocks, moved to Forex, and then ended up in crypto. And I've been day trading for a little over four years now. And I definitely started off bad. I mean, just like everyone else, I didn't really know what I was doing and I wasn't very profitable, um, you know, until the past year or so when I've learned my lessons and learned to control my trading strategies. And so if you guys try to live by these five tips of advice, you're gonna be, uh, you know, growing as a trader a lot quicker than most. So let's jump right into it. So tip number one, that I'm gonna be giving you guys is don't invest what you can't afford to lose. And I cannot stress this enough, a lot of people go out there and invest their entire savings and they don't know quite what they're doing yet and then all of a sudden they're losing their money and they can't pay their bills and boom, uh, you know, you're bankrupt. Now, investing is great and the more you invest, the more that you're gonna get back but you need to invest safely, make sure that your bills are gonna be covered, and if you're making large investments, you better be well-educated on what you're investing into and what you're doing. Money's no joke, you know, money makes the world go round. All right, now tip number two is be consistent. This was one of my biggest mistakes when I first started trading is I was all over the place. I was trading when I was in college classes, uh, I was trading when I was out with friends, out at dinner with the girlfriend, and when you're, when you're trading all over the place with that, you can't really sit down and look at your charts and make sure that you're making good trades. Also, you can't just trade, you know, you gotta be, you have to have a schedule. You gotta know when you're gonna trade. You gotta know when the markets are doing good, whether it's two hours when you wake up or two hours before bed or two hours in the middle of the day. You gotta make sure that you're prepared to sit down, analyze, and make those trades. Now, don't get me wrong, you can chart for a while and then set up a trade to hold for a few days or a week or a month. That's okay, but you have to be consistent with the time that you're on the computer, whether it's charting, trading, selling, buying, all of that stuff. You've gotta have a set time and you've gotta be consistent and do it daily, weekly, monthly, whatever you're doing to get those long-term profits. All right, now tip number three is be absolutely strict on your strategy. I chose this little picture down here because that's what you're gonna look like if you're not strict on your strategies. You're just gonna be confused all over the place and frustrated and, and angry. Now, if you have a strategy, now we'll talk more about this in some trading strategies, but you've gotta have something called a risk to reward ratio. So let's say you opened a trade and you were hoping to hit 3%, you would set your stop loss at 1%, and if you did that, that would be a one to three risk to reward ratio. So you'd be willing to lose 1%, but you're trying to gain 3%. But the reason that you have to be strict on that stop loss, on losing that 1%, is because a lot of people let their trades blow past where they are planning to get out, and then you're in the hole. And at that point, you don't wanna sell your loss, so you just keep waiting, and then you're in the hole deeper and deeper and deeper, and then you lost 2,000 bucks on a trade in a couple of minutes. So the reason that you have to be strict on your stop loss is because if you made, you know, if you made three trades in a day, and you won two of them, and you only lost one according to that one to three strategy that I just mentioned, you would have gained 3% on one trade, 3% on another trade, and then you would have lost 1% on that third trade. So that equals out to 5% gain in a day. But if you were at your 5% and you let your trade blow past your stop loss, and now you're down 10%, all of a sudden you're, you're, you're 5%, you know, 6% in the hole, when you could have saved yourself all of that money just by setting a stop loss. So you guys have to be strict on your stop losses. Open up your trade and immediately set that stop loss and don't move it. Don't get hopeful and say, oh, I think it's gonna bounce down here and maybe come back up. Set that stop loss and leave it there. You have to be strict on your strategy. Take it from me, I did that a lot. I got into the hole and I was like, oh, maybe it's gonna come back up after this stop loss and then I would move my stop loss down and then I would remove it again and it just kept going down and then I'd be down a thousand bucks in a day. So you guys have to be strict. All right, now tip number four is set and strive for goals. I like this quote down here in the picture at the bottom that says, a goal without a plan is just a wish. That is the exact truth right there, guys. Guys, if you're just blindly trading and you don't know, really know what you're going for, there's gonna be nothing to aim for. You're not gonna have targets in your trades. You're not gonna be getting out on time. You're gonna be making big losses. So you have to have goals. 
Personally, as a day trader, I shoot for 3% a day. I have found that to be kind of my golden magic number because that compounds very quickly. If I hit 3% a day and only trade, I usually trade about five to six days of the week. So that's 15 to 18% a week. That compounds very, very quickly. So you guys have, had to have to have your own individual goals. If you were you know, trading, uh, holding a swing trader over a few days or maybe a couple of weeks, you'd be aiming for maybe eight, 15, anywhere in there percent. But as a day trader, you know, I specifically try to close my uh, trades before I go to bed at night. I'm shooting for 3% a day. And that is my goal. If you don't have goals, you're just gonna be blindly trading, hoping to make some profit here, hoping to make some profit there. It's just gonna be blind. You guys have to be strategic and you have to have goals, all right? Now, tip number five is leave emotion out of it. This is the most important tip, I think, that anybody could give a new trader, is leave emotion out of it. Now, this was one of the biggest mistakes that I made when I first started tr uh, trading. Like I said, I would jump into trades and I would move my stop losses and I would get into this huge hole of negative 10%, negative 15%, and then I would close my trade out there with my negative 15%. Because, uh, you know, I, I was like, I don't want it to go down anymore. Now, the reason I could, have, I could have never gotten into that hole if I would have left emotion out of it. If you do your trades strictly by math and strategy, and then there's absolutely not gonna be room to lose 10% like that. Literally, it, think about this. If you guys were just strict and said, okay, I'm setting my stop loss as soon as I open my trade at negative 1%, and it hit that, the most you're gonna lose is 1%. But if you move your stop loss, then you could be down 2%, and then you get emotional about it, and you're like, oh, I lost $200, I need to wait now. And then it's gonna keep dropping and it's gonna keep dropping. And if you would've just left emotion out of it and just stuck with your strategy, I'm cutting my losses at 1%, you could have saved yourself a whole lot of money. And along with leaving emotion out of it, it goes the opposite way when you're trying to buy, okay? Uh, a lot of times people do what they call FOMO, F-O-M-O, -O, which stands for fear of missing out. And basically what that looks like in crypto trading is when a price starts blowing up, blowing up, blowing up, and you're like, oh shoot, I wanna get some of this uh, profit. So you hop in and it's too late and it comes back down. That's FOMO. Uh, you can't be afraid to miss out. There's gonna be moves that you're gonna miss out on. That's the reality of trading. You cannot, absolutely cannot make every single profitable trade. So when you see things going like that up, Instead of jumping in and then letting it fall on you, you should be charting and figuring out where the next dip is gonna be and the next uh, support that it's gonna come back down to so that you can buy in at that support. So guys, leave emotion out of it and I promise you, you'll be much more profitable in trading. All right, guys, so that wraps up my five tips to becoming a successful day trader. I uh, appreciate you guys watching. Please make sure to like and subscribe and check out our other videos on our channel. We're always gonna be doing crypto giveaways as well. So make sure to drop your Tron addresses in the comments below. We love giving away free crypto. We'll give away some of our own ICG tokens as well as Tron, Dogcoin, BTT, all sorts of stuff. So always be dropping your Tron addresses in the comments below and make sure to stay tuned and tune in next time for our next video. Thanks, guys.